This is Challenges, my brand new hardcore Iron Man that will take on your challenges as I progress the account and eventually unlock every single item from the wilderness. However, if I die, the series ends. In the last episode, we got ourselves our fourth wilderness unique item, which was an Elder Chaos Robe bottom. And I still have some cannonballs left, so hopefully we can get another piece before we do today's first challenge. Level 80, ooh, scary. That's 72 range. All right, that's a full looting bag of herbs. So we're gonna bank real quick. We are out of cannonballs. We did get a clue scroll. Can we do this clue scroll? Complete it, complete it, subscribe it. Step number four, complete it for another casket. Here we go, three, two, one. But we got high ox. Nah, three clue scrolls and not a single black eyed piece. That's not good. And this is 50 smithing. A very important level for a reason I'm gonna explain to you later in this video. A rune kite shield! That's a big drop! <gasps> we got the top! We only need the hood now! That's the best piece we wanted! Only hood left! Beautiful! Yes! That's 5 out of 37 unique items from the wilderness! Oh my, just look at this gear! Oh, we got another piece! The bottoms, a second pair of the bottoms. I just got back to back bottoms. Oh my god. All right, that's all the cannonballs used. I cannot complain about this trip. We did get three pieces, two rope bottoms and one rope top. The only thing we need is the hood still. But that's enough Chaos Druids for now because we are going to start today's first challenge which comes from Dark Moon Jared. And he wants me to complete underground pass while weighing at least 100 kilos and to obtain items weighing at least 100 kilos We're gonna need to complete some quests one of them being between a rock if we complete this quest We receive a gold helmet weighing 31 kilos So let's complete fishing contest and 30 defense and that was the fishing competition completed I also completed nature spirit for 13 defense levels Then I got 20 defense to devalue my newly obtained magic ropes Finally there we have it 30 defense the final requirement for the mining, let's go baby. Between a rock have been completed. We now have the golden helmet, 33 defense and a brand new rune pickaxe. Now that we weigh 130 kilos, completed all quest requirements and read all Slayer Music 1's underground pass reviews, we're now ready to complete underground pass while weighing at least 100 kilos. My agility level is 5th and I think this quest is going to be very very awful to complete. I'm not gonna lie. My friends have told me not to do this quest at all. Period. Alright, walking back. Don't fall, don't fall. That's the first time we have fallen in this episode. Wait, do I need another rope? Second time we have fallen. Third fall. Oh. We made it! This might just be the worst part here. Okay. Can we... The perfect run? It's the perfect run! It's the perfect one! No matter how many times we fall moving forward, I think that's a victory right there. If I thought any other part was difficult, then this will be the worst experience ever of my life. Don't fall, don't fall. No. No! No. Another fall. Yes! We made it to the end! We did it! Alright, is this the one? I think it's the one! The quests have been completed! It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It took me like th almost 3 hours. And I think I felt... 10 times in the agility course, so it's not too bad. We now have the Ibon staff, which we're gonna use later in this episode. I just got 50 mining, AFKing mining in the background. Alright, now it's time to make myself 5k cannonballs and then we go back to the wilderness. Few hours later, that's 4.8k cannonballs, almost 5k. We're going to use all these cannonballs for wilderness slayer and hopefully we can get ourselves some lands key and maybe even a Dagon High Road piece. And there we have it, the first Slayer task of the day completed. Zero Laren's Keat, sadly. Bless us with a good task, here we go. Hellhounds, 49 Slayer. Ooh, 50 Slayer and 700 total. 
Next task is going to be Mammoth's great task. First kill that Mammoth, that's a Laren's key. 74 range, another beautiful achievement. 108 PK, interesting. I got this medium clue scroll from Mammoth. And now I have a casket. And I got... Ooh, okay. Alright, alright, a headband. That's fashion scape. 51 Slayer. Mammoth boy is here. First person that can attack me. And that's the task completed. Let's go. Next task. Bears. Alright, that's an easy one. What? I got a Larry's key from these guys. Alright, I'll, I'll take it. 52 Slayer. Ooh, I got a Larry's key. And that's another task completed. I gotta get my cannon, but this guy is standing here. I just got a rune 2H. Thank you. Red drop table. Hell yeah, baby. A Larry's key. Ooh, that's 53 Slayer. I do like to skip the bad wildy task with some um, Turrell and Vanaka. And here we go. 44 points. Not much more for the Slayer ring. Next task, green dragons. We can do that one. Do you guys see that? A Laren's key today's first Laren's key. Beautiful. Hello, key number two. Dude, what is this luck? A third Laren's key here. If you look closely behind me, you can see that there is a second cannon there. It's because every single world is packed with bots, and I had to execute the bot with my pure. And now I have the spot all for myself. Nah, the bot is back. Do I have to kill him again? Okay. Bot is hopping. Alright, here we are. We got seven keys. It's time to open these bad boys. Give us a Dagonite piece. Coals, good for cannonballs. Runeplate legs, high ox. Coals, good for cannonballs. Runeplate legs, good for high ox. Bad. Runeplate legs, good for high ox. Runeplate legs, oh my, so many runeplate legs. Look at this. Nine runeplate legs, almost one mil in loot. Respectable. What the fuck was that? And there we go, 55 Slayer. That's another task completed. We need 11 more points. Well, hello there, 60 magic. Finally, there we have it. The task have been completed. A Slayer ring for 75 points completed. I got myself this Slayer ring for a good reason. And that's to complete the second challenge of today, which comes from Lemoy. And he wants me to get a fedora from the crazy archaeologist. And the reason why I needed this ring is to be able to teleport up to 30 wilderness. This is one of the few teleportation methods where you can actually teleport up to 30 wilderness. And for this challenge, we need to upgrade the Iban staff. Cost me 200k. Don't I need... Oh wait, I don't even have attack. I don't even have attack can't even use it. And that's the Vampire Slayer completed for two attack levels. And that's the Trim Ground Village completed for 38 attack. Grand Tree completed for 42 attack. And that's the Waterfall Quest completed for 45 attack. Alrighty then, here we are at the Sandcrafts. I'll see you guys in like 10 hours when I got 50 attack. I just missed the level, but there we go, 50 attack. You guys know what this means. Ivan Staff is on. This will be the gear for Crazy Archaeologist, Elder Ropes, Iban Staff, and the Bracelet of Ethereum. For this challenge we are going for the Fedora, but I would really like one of these as well. If we are lucky, we might get all three of them, but the Fedora is the one item we are going for. Uh, this will be the second kill on the account for Mud Runes, alright, alright. That's the third kill. Oh my god, this is an upgrade. This is a huge upgrade. Red D height body. I can get 40 defense and use it. Uh, I don't have the requirement left, but this is a huge thing. Cannonballs is a great drop. Alright, that's the first trip done. I'm actually happy with this one. We got a red D height body, a great upgrade. That's gonna be the kill for 62 magic. And a muddy key. And that's the second trip done. We didn't get anything too special. Just regular supplies, I guess. 64 hit points. <gasps> oh ho ho ho! Yes, boys! That is the item we have been waiting for. The fedora. I look like a cowboy here. And there we go. Yep, yep, yep. But we're not done just yet. We're gonna continue the crazy archaeologist grind. Hopefully we can get one shard as well. 63 magic. Oh my, that's another crossbow drop. Some people see crossbows. 
I see 20k in high alks. And this, my friends, is 50 kill count, a very important level, because now I am officially on the boss high scores. There we have it! Malediction shard number two. That's actually the shield I want the most as well. One shard left to go. And that's two uniques from the crazy archaeologist. I just got a longbone. That's another longbone. And that's 64 magic. That's 80 kill count for 20k high elves. Yeah, we're get getting out of here. So a little fun fact, this PK who I just spotted at Crazy Archaeologist is actually the person who suggested the TYC to go to the Crazy Archaeologist. Oh, hello there! My second fedora and a half plus roll. Ooh, Onyx Ball tips, that's a lot of money. 90 kill count for another 20k high alx. Oh my god, milliboops. Run, run! Run! I am being blessed with these long bones. Look at that. 100 kill count. And we are done. I think we're done with Crazy Archaeologist. We got two out of the three uniques. And I'm very happy with that result. Hold on, you made it till the end? That means you must really, really, really like this video. And when you like a video, you give the video a thumbs up.